Welcome everyone to another episode in the Perspective Drawing series. In this one we are going to be looking at how to draw organic forms using contour lines. So when it comes to drawing in perspective, you'll often find yourself working with straight lines, drawing boxes and blocking out objects using basic volumes. Whilst this is an effective approach to constructing your drawings, it's not going to be suitable for every situation. For example, if you want to draw more organic and irregular forms, you are going to be relying on contour lines. Contour lines are not something that you haven't seen before. Earlier in this series, I had covered how to draw a sphere, explaining that in order to show its three-dimensional form, you have to wrap some contour lines around it, which in this case are simply ellipses. Contour lines are lines which seem to wrap around an object, emphasising its form. In real life, there is the effect of light which represents form, but when drawing, there is no light, unless of course the artist recreates that effect themselves, but that's a different subject. Contour lines are used to represent form when drawing, and they can also indicate the position of an object in perspective. For example, here I will draw out some cylinders on different angles, and to do this, I'm going to take a different approach from the one that I have shown in previous videos. Here I start by drawing out an ellipse, and the degree of the ellipse, which is the width of the ellipse, will determine the angle of the cylinder. I extend some lines down from the ellipse and draw another to create a cylinder. This ellipse may appear smaller in scale due to foreshortening. Now just like the sides of the cylinder, I'll add a line through the centre of this, and this is perpendicular to the ellipses I have drawn. This line crosses through the centre of the ellipses, so it's worth me mentioning the minor axis, because that can help you place this line. The minor axis of an ellipse divides the ellipse in half across its narrowest dimension, but what's important is the fact that the minor axis always points to the vanishing point that is perpendicular to the ellipse's surface being drawn, in this case our line that is running through the centre here. So I have these cylinders drawn out at various angles and I can wrap a contour line around each of these. In this case it will be another ellipse and as a result I have also added another plane. Now this was done with a consideration for the angle of the object, and here they are each on one angle, which makes this easier. It's how we see these ellipses that establish the angle of the cylinder. Now before we move on, let's talk about ellipses for a moment. We know that ellipses are just circles viewed in perspective. Now the width of an ellipse is often referred to as the degree because it represents the angle of the circle relative to the viewer. As you can see here, the circle furthest to the left is at 90 degrees and is perpendicular to us, but as it starts to rotate around, it appears as an ellipse, and the degree of the ellipse changes, appearing smaller in width. This is simple but important to know because we can use ellipses at different degrees to show how an organic form is twisting and turning in perspective. So now I will draw out some cylinders which twist and turn, and I approach these the same way. I'll continue to draw in that line which runs through the centre, this of course will bend and follow the form of these cylinders. So now I have these cylinders drawn out, and it becomes harder to understand what angle these are on, so in order to show that, I need to add some contour lines. I also know that these are cylindrical, and so the contour lines I will be adding will continue to be ellipses on various angles, that will indicate the angle of the cylinder. This at first can seem overwhelming, but it's not that challenging. I consider what I had just explained in regards to the minor axis, this line running through the centre should cross the ellipse's narrowest dimension, as our line here is perpendicular to the ellipses being drawn. The degree of these ellipses will change depending on the angle of the cylinder. Here I am going to draw out some spheres, indicating the angle of them with the use of contour lines. I mostly want to show an example like this though, because I wanted to mention that as you wrap contour lines around the perimeter of an object, you are also adding an internal plane. In this case, as I draw in these spheres, I am adding two planes which cross each other. 
These cross planes are perpendicular to each other, each on their own axis, and they allow me to draw these spheres on different angles, having them tilt and rotate around. Now when it comes to drawing the more organic and irregular forms, they can often appear more random in comparison to a sphere or a cylinder, and so it means we will have to draw more than just ellipses, but we approach it the same way. Here I have drawn out the perimeter of some more organic forms and currently these all appear flat, but with the use of contour lines I can start to add some volume to them and these contour lines will also establish the angle of the object. With each of these contour lines I draw through the form, which creates some internal planes, and adding two cross planes like this will give you a better idea of the form being drawn and establish its position in perspective. So what we have looked at in this episode is something that we will refer back to in upcoming videos. As we progress through this series, we will be drawing many objects and some of them will require us to draw more organic forms like this. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed the content I create, then do consider becoming a patron on Patreon. You will gain access to exclusive tutorials, study documents, process papers, real-time drawing footage and more. Plus, you will also be supporting me in a more personal way. Other than that, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon.